We have heard of temperatures like 0 degree Celsius, which is the freezing point of water, and 100 degree Celsius, which is the boiling point of water. Though Celsius is a more common way to measure the temperature, Fahrenheit is also sometimes used as its unit of measure. 0 degree Celsius is the equivalent of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a particular way in which we can convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and vice versa. This is the formula to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. We multiply the temperature in Celsius with 9 over 5 and add 32 to it. And modifying this formula, we get the conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius, subtract 32 from the temperature in Fahrenheit, multiply it with 5 and divide the entire thing by 9. So how much time do you think you'll take to convert one to another? 12 degrees Celsius is how many degrees Fahrenheit? Or 23 degrees Fahrenheit is how many degrees Celsius? Look at it a bit practically. If somebody asks you this in real life, they are not expecting a perfect answer. What you need is an approximate value. Using these formulae will give you the perfect answer but you'll take too long to arrive at it. So let's see a quicker way to arrive at an approximate answer. Let's say you want to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. All we need to do is multiply the temperature in Celsius with 2 and add 30 to it. That will give us the answer in Fahrenheit. Say 10 degrees Celsius. We need to convert this into Fahrenheit. Multiply it with 2 and add 30. 20 plus 30 is 50 degrees. 10 degrees Celsius is approximately 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Multiply with 2 and add 30 to the product. 17 degrees Celsius. 17 times 2 is 34 and 34 plus 30 is 64. 17 degrees Celsius is approximately 64 degrees Fahrenheit. If we do the exact calculations using the formulae, we would have got 10 degrees Celsius as 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, we were a bit fortunate here. And 17 degrees Celsius as 62.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Almost equal. The higher the temperature, the bigger will be the difference. Say 50 degrees Celsius. 100 plus 30 is 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The exact answer is 122, a difference of 8 degrees Fahrenheit. And converting 100 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, we get 230 degrees approximately. And the exact answer is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So as the number increases, the difference or error in the answer also increases. Does this work for negative temperatures as well? Absolutely. Say minus 15 degrees Celsius. Minus 15 times 2 is minus 30. And minus 30 plus 30 equals 0. Minus 15 degrees Celsius is approximately 0 degrees Fahrenheit. The exact value comes out to be 5 degrees Fahrenheit. So to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, just multiply by 2 and add 30 to the product. And how do we quickly convert Fahrenheit to Celsius? Easy, we subtract 30 and then divide by 2. Take 100 degrees Fahrenheit for example. We subtract 30 and get 70. And 70 over 2 is equal to 35. 100 degrees Fahrenheit is approximately equal to 35 degrees Celsius. The exact answer if you calculate is 37.7778 degrees Celsius. The difference isn't much. What about 72 degrees Fahrenheit? Subtract 30 and get 42. 42 over 2 is 21. 72 degrees Fahrenheit is approximately equal to 21 degrees Celsius. Now let's try converting minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. Subtracting 30 we get minus 70 and dividing it by 2, we get minus 35 degrees Celsius approximately. 
the exact value in these two cases is 22.222 degrees Celsius and minus 40 degrees Celsius. A very small degree of error in each case. But what if you forget the ways of conversion? Remember, for the same temperature, Fahrenheit is always larger. So multiplying it with 2 and adding 30 will definitely give us a larger number. To convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, we multiply and add. And as Celsius is a smaller number, we subtract 30 and divide by 2. One good way to remember this is that C comes before F, so C is smaller than F.